much is certain in aviation these days. But one thing we can all agree on is that Avgas is expensive enough that you don't want to waste even a drop of it. Hello everyone, I'm Liz Swain for AvWeb.com. And in this short video, we're going to look at how you can not only save money on gas, but have a cooler and cleaner running engine by operating at Lean of Peak EGTs. The key to running Lean of Peak is to know what your EGTs and your cylinder head temperatures really are. And the only way to do that is to have a modern digital multi-probe engine monitor. One of our favorites is the Bulletproof EDM 700 monitor from JP Instruments. These rugged devices have been giving pilots reliable engine temperatures and trend monitoring for more than a decade. So that makes them the perfect complement for gas-saving Lean of Peak flying. One of the EDM's strongest features is that JPI has among the largest approval lists of any of the engine monitors. If your airplane has a Lycoming or Continental engine, chances are it's approved for a JPI engine monitor. So much for what an engine monitor is. Now how does it actually work? In a nutshell, a digital engine monitor uses state-of-the-art fast response thermocouples to measure the exhaust gas temperature just downstream from the exhaust valve. A digital monitor also displays cylinder head temperatures. This data is presented in two forms. Exhaust gas temperatures are depicted as columns of graduated bars, with each division representing temperature ranges visually. Cylinder head temperatures appear as a missing or skipped bar in each cylinder column. EGTs and CHTs can also be displayed digitally by cycling through the monitor's modes using the step button. This is useful for maintenance or when performing lean tests. In addition to exhaust gas and cylinder head temperatures, the EDM series of engine monitors can also be configured to display oil temperature, outside air temperature, RPM fuel flow, low fuel alarm, fuel remaining, and a number of other important parameters. Just as important, the engine monitor stores this data for retrieval. This is a great aid for engine maintenance diagnostics. In short, having a JPI engine monitor is like having your own personal flight engineer aboard the aircraft. And with the JPI, that flight engineer earns his keep by saving you money. Here's how. As you know, when you lean your engine, the exhaust gas temperatures slowly rise as fuel flow decreases. Because fuel and air flow to each cylinder aren't perfectly consistent, one cylinder will reach peak EGT before the others. A JPI engine monitor is the best way to track EGTs and CHTs so you can lean safely. JPI has a feature that helps. It's called Lean Find Mode. By simply pressing the Lean Find button, the monitor will automatically detect and display the first cylinder to reach peak EGT. Once you know how to accurately monitor EGTs and to lean with confidence, here's how you can save gas and save money. Traditionally, the engine manufacturers have recommended lean settings between peak EGT and about 125 degrees rich of peak. While these settings produce plenty of power, they also require high fuel flows. The better way is to reduce fuel flow to the lean side of peak EGTs. As you can see from this chart provided by General Aviation Modifications, on the lean side of peak EGTs, cylinder head temperatures are actually as much as 25 degrees cooler than on the rich side of peak. That translates to a cooler, cleaner running engine, but more important, it saves as much as three gallons of fuel per hour. That's enough to more than pay for the monitor in 250 hours of flying. From this brief video, you can clearly see the benefits of a digital engine monitor. But there's one more that we haven't talked about, and that's safety. An engine monitor like the JPI EDM series is a powerful tool for diagnosing potential engine problems, such as faulty magnetos, weak spark plugs, and induction leaks, just to name a few. As avionics and instruments go, an engine monitor is one of the best value investments you can make in your airplane. To find out more about the JPI monitors, you can log on to jpiinstruments.com. This is Liz Swain for avweb.com. Thanks for watching our Buyer's Guide series.